In this video, we're going to cover how to start up the FSX software if you wish to use the driving range mode, the compete mode, or to play around a golf here in our practice bay. So once you've powered on the computer, the projector, and the television, you should be at the opening screen here of our computer. So all we're going to do is click this icon on the, on the left that says FSX. We'll double click it. And now this will open our simulator software. Once we uh, get booted up here, um, it will validate our software license. And now you're on the main page. So in another video, I show you how to create a login account using the uh, Foresight My Performance platform. So once you have a login account and you want to uh, add your player here, we're just going to click this arrow that says player. We're going to delete the existing player. Now we're going to click it again and we're going to add a player. Now where it says want to save player data, my performance, you're going to click that. And then over here on the right, you're just going to enter your player data. So that's my login name and password. And now I'm logged in. So from here, now I can explore the different options that the software has. So we have play, which is going to take us through the six different golf courses we have. We have compete, where we can do a long drive skills challenge closest to the pin, or a local contest, which is just between you and other uh, people practicing here at the academy. Or we can go to improve. Improve is simply going to either let us practice on the golf course, or most likely what you'll use this for is to utilize the driving range. So if we want to go to the driving range, we're just going to click driving range. And now this is going to open up our driving range page. From here, it's as simple as putting a golf ball in the correct spot on the mat and beginning your practice session. If you want to change the target, you may do so in the top right of the corner here, just simply by toggling through the different yardages. You can also change the golf club you're using if you want to keep detailed data. We'll go over in another video how to keep data and send yourself a report, but it's very simple to change which club you're using. And once you hit a golf shot here, you'll see your shot as well as the data.